How's it going guys? My name is KC and welcome to the final episode of Five Nights at Smudgers 4, Engines at War. In the last video, we beat Night 6, although it took me over 20 attempts to do so. And then we took out Stanley, which also took me quite a lot of attempts to do so. We've pretty much beaten the game and now there's only one thing left to do and that is to find the rest of the toys and watch all the videos in order. To unlock all the videos, we have to find the toys that are hidden in all the nights. And there's two more that we gotta find, so we're gonna find them, and then watch all the movies in order, and then that'll be the end of the video and the series. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. We need to find the one in night two and night five. Great. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna click on everything I see that looks like well, a toy. Well, I got that toy, that was easy. Hopefully I can just die and it'll still save. If it doesn't save, I'm gonna have to do the night again. Ah, there we go. So I can just get the item and die. Good shit. All right, let's get the next one and then watch all these videos. Let's see, it's in night five. So that's it right there. Oh, a little smudger toy. Hey. Okay, that was fast. It's a good thing I got it before that happened. <laughs> Imagine if I was about to click on it, but then I died. That would have been so tough. We got all the items, and now we can watch the movies. So I'm gonna give you guys a second to grab your popcorn, your snacks, your blankets, your drinks, anything you need, because we're probably gonna be here for a while. We're gonna watch all these movies right here, all right? I'll give you times to get yourselves together. All right, time's up. We're watching the first video right now. Ah, this is brilliant. Space to drink coffee. You know, Steamer, I like having you around here. Oh my god, Although that is so it's cool. Unfortunate that you're only here for a short period of time. Honestly, though, you're some of the best company that I've had in years. Thanks, Duke. Man, although there has been some troubles at this place, we still keep joyful. Yes, I agree. I am curious to find out who is responsible for stealing all these trucks just to make themselves look like they're the best engine around here. Hey, you don't think it could be that number two engine? I forgot his name, but he seems... like... well, kind of unpleasant. Honestly, I have no idea, but I'll be sure to ask him when he shows his face. Hey, the railway hasn't got time for you two to be playing with each other all day. Now go get some work done. Oh, get lost, Smudger. All you ever do is make the situation worse. Look who's talking. The railway will get worse if you two turds just sit around here all day doing nothing. Ah, oh, excuse me there, youngun. What did you just say? Oh, Stanley. Well, pardon me, youngun. I was just going to ask you politely if you knew anything about the whereabouts of the missing trucks, or if you knew anything about them at all. Are you accusing me of stealing supplies for other companies? Do you know what we did to engines like you in the war? Wouldn't be anything here that I haven't seen before, big guy. <laughs> Are you sure about that, Granddad? Hey, punk. Stay out of this and go deliver your stuff. I don't want to have to sort you out as well. Ooh, look at the slimeball acting all tough. Shut up. You're both acting like a stupid pair of children. Shove off, you mangy varmint! I'm out of here! Smudger, you better go back to work right now before the manager gets annoyed. You know what, Duke? If you wasn't such an old fart, I'd shove that tender behind you right- <laughs> Oh, that's going to cause confusion and delay. <laughs> What just happened? Stanley literally went off the rails and hit the pole to knock it over. Was that on purpose or was that on accident? The mic quality could have been better, but you know, it's a free game. I'm not gonna bash that too hard, but um, that felt really nostalgic. You know, it felt like I was watching an actual Thomas episode from like before their their mouths moved, you know? Before they were animated. So that's, that's a nice little touch. And uh, this is the old days. This was like uh, before Smudger got turned into that generator. His character was much different than in this game. He was an asshole back then. It also shows that Smudger and Stanley's beef goes all the way back to these times right here that we just saw. Midsoda Origins, Smudger and Albert. Hmm. 
This place is doing my boiler in. Everyone is just going around judging on who they like. Hello there, smudger. What do you want, Albert? Oh, well, I was just passing and saw you looking a bit uptight. So, what's the matter with you? This bloody duke, he's just going around and complaining about an engine apparently trying to look like the best on the railway, stealing trucks and taking them to random places to make it look like they have delivered the goods when the wrong stuff has been delivered to the wrong places, causing confusion and delay. And then he accused me at one point, so I was like, I ain't interested about being the best, I just want to enjoy working. Oh really? You know, I'm not the one to gossip, but if I had to choose a suspect, it would definitely be Stanley. Yeah, well, even if it is, no one doesn't have any proof. That may be true, but I do have a theory. What are you talking about? Well, you see, Stanley derails a lot, right? I wonder why that is. I don't know, is he wrong in the wheels as well as his head? I don't think so myself, but any engine that stole goods trains would not allow themselves to derail and get cut up, though I reckon he's using reverse psychology and making lies up every time he comes off the rails to make it look like he hasn't stolen them trucks. Look, I understand, but that's all speculation to the manager. I don't know, but if you think about it and put two and two together, it seems kind of fishy, don't you think? Anyways, I got a passenger train to pull. I'll see you around, smudger. Hmm. Okay. So that answered one of my questions. What just happened, you know, with Stanley in that first video? He just randomly derailed. Is it on purpose, or is there something else going on with him? I don't know. Probably never will know, because as of right now, he's dead. He was just as troublesome as Smudger. And apparently he's out here stealing trucks and shit, too. Hmm. Minnesota Origins Spooky Stories. They still say the flatbed truck is still around the quarry, haunting the engines in revenge for his accident, resulting him with being torn apart that dreadful night. Ha ha ha, are you serious? If you're gonna make a scary story, at least make it believable. No one has ever talked about a flatbed ghost truck around here. Hey, it's just for fun. So do you have any spooky stories to tell? Well, I have one. But it's a real one. Let's hear it. I bet it won't scare me. <laughs> well, before I worked here, the railway I was at was very small. So most of the talk was about the much bigger one not far from it. I didn't know much of the engines there, but the one I heard most about was a blacksmith engine. People called him the Masked Engine because he wore a mask to protect his face from flying sparks. He loved his job. It was his dream and he did it perfectly. He was the manager's favorite engine. But the other engines didn't like this. They thought he made them look stupid. They were jealous. They would often call him names and be rude to him. But he wouldn't let this bother him. He always carried on with his work. Until one day, the other engines went too far. They tried to pull a prank on him, which resulted his shed being caught on fire, and the blacksmith engine was tragically burned and killed in the accident. The other engines didn't want to get in trouble for it, so they blamed him, and the manager believed him. He was ashamed of the engine and sent his body for scrap that night. But the driver of the dead engine was filled with rage from the manager believing the bully engines. He took the engine's body somewhere and disappeared. People believe that he went to the UK because nothing was heard or seen from them ever since. Until about a month later, some trucks were in a siding and they heard the bully engines and their drivers in the sheds. It was pretty foggy that night so they couldn't see the shed doors. The engines and their drivers were telling jokes to each other and listening to music until the laughter was quickly stopped by they thought it was an animal or something, so one of them went to go scare it off. But what they didn't know is what was on the other side of those doors wasn't going to be scared off. As the shed doors opened, the mist started to clear. It wasn't the blacksmith engine. Well, at least not anymore. What was there was a vengeful, modified, and undead engine, with eyes described by the trucks, more evil than the devil himself with the manager's ripped-off head attached to his buffer. 
All the trucks could do was watch the master engine charge into the sheds and see their blood and intestines splatter all over the windows and hear the screams of the engines and the drivers being finished off by being burned alive with his flamethrower. <laughs> Shit. Of course, the police were called to the scene the next day, but only found the fried and mangled bodies with no killer. No one knows or wants to know where the masked engine is now. You, you, you mean he's still alive? Oh yes, he is, and he could be anywhere. What, what was his real name? Oh right, yeah, I never said, did I? Um, it was. <laughs> good job there, buddy. Thanks. We got them good, didn't we? We did indeed. Now that they are gone, it's time to take these trucks to the railway, and they will love me and make me the new number two after Stanley has put out of business for his rough writing. Ah, so he's been stealing the trucks, and he's trying to blame it on Stanley. Okay. Let me crank the volume down. Those bully engines were like a whole different breed of hater. Like, I, could, I, could, I couldn't imagine being that jealous over somebody else's success. That's crazy. They got what they deserve, though. They said a masked engine. You have a flamethrower. And we didn't get to hear his name because they got jump scared and they ran away. When that guy scared them off, you could have at least gave him another facial expression. Have him smiling. Looking like he just won the lottery. Not not won the lottery. Looking like having that mission accomplished smile. You know what I'm saying? That would have been a nice touch. Instead, they got the same exact faces. Even though th their emotions that the voice actors are expressing are completely different. Midsoda Origins. Suspect Revealed. For Christ's sake, Stanley. You have caused nothing but accidents ever since you got here. Listen, bud. In the States, we don't care a dime for a few spills. We do here. <laughs> don't you laugh at me, young'un. If you carry on like this, things will end very bad for you. Yeah, well, I have a lot of chances left. You, however, are probably one accident away from being sent to the scrapyard. Right. I am going to put you on a boat back to the wars myself if I have to, you stupid little child. Damn. He got roasted or had flashbacks or something. Well, well, well. I should have known. No wonder you tried to frame Stanley for all this. Those trucks are not scheduled to go anywhere. What are you talking about, Smudger? This is my goods train that the manager told me to the- Don't you even try that crap with me. Steamer saw you earlier and told me the whole thing. That little punk. Wait till I get my buffers on him for telling lies about me. Good luck with that. Remember, he was only here for a few days to help out. He's off to another railway today. Oh. Well, then I better get this goods train delivered. We don't want the manager angry at you for delaying it. Now get out of my way! No. You don't want to mess with me, slimeball! Oh, I think that's exactly what I want to do. All right. So you want to fight? Okay, then! Let's fight! <laughs> Listen, Jack, time to play by the rules. Never mess with this railway. There are good engines here. Ugh, I'm not messing with anything. Shit. You are always a dumb engine. Your stupid looking paint job shows that. Wh what did you just say to me? Yeah, you heard me. You are just jealous. I bet you would love to be a well-respected engine like me. Steamroller wheels ain't my style. <laughs> Oh, oh, my boiler! This really hurts! Hello, Smudger. Don't worry, I heard the whole thing. It looks like I misjudged you, but good job nonetheless. Now, let's go take Albert back to the manager. He's going to be very happy to hear about this for sure. You won't get away with this!
Really, Albert? Making threats when you're defeated? Looks like you've gone off the rails. <laughs> I can't. Ah, damn, I can't with this game. I wonder how Duke heard the whole thing. He was there the whole time and was just watching. That voice acting when Smudger pushed that guy off the cliff. I'm sorry, but that wasn't it. The ad hominems that they were spit the spitting at each other, the insults, that made me cringe just a little bit. But otherwise, that was a very intense cutscene. Especially the part where Smudger pushed that guy up against that barrier and then proceeded to push him completely off the cliff. Now, now that other guy, what was his name? Albert. He's been exposed. He's being taken to the manager. That's what he gets for being so full of himself. Defeat and peace. Well, Albert, it's time to go. I've got to say, I'm very disappointed. I thought you were one of the best engines here. Oh, how wrong I was. You are all going to regret this. I promise you. I don't care how long it takes. When you expect it, I will be there, and that will result in your demise! You would have to go through me first to accomplish that. Now take him away, Bertram. Well done, Smudger. You are a very useful engine. I am sorry about our little feud from before. I hope from now on we can be very good friends. Thank you, Duke. And sure, why not? You seem like a nice engine anyway, even though you can be a miserable old sod sometimes. <laughs> anyway, Steamer, it's sad to see you go, but you did a fantastic job serving here. It truly was an honour to have you around. Thanks, Duke. I am gonna miss you both. Hopefully we can cross paths again one day. I'd love that. Maybe we can go solve some more crimes together. Like going after diesels that hate steam engines for no reason. <laughs> they caught the suspect of the incident, and now they're laughing about it? After they all constantly accuse me? I could have been taken away from something I didn't even do! Traitors! All of them! They are the enemies! They must be taken out, starring with him! Driver, I need you to take me somewhere tonight. Let's go somewhere secret so I can tell you the details. Man, talk about petty. I mean, to be fair, what their first course of action should have been upon uncovering the actual suspect was to apologize to Stanley for the false accusations, but they didn't do that. So I can understand why Stanley got pissed, but I don't know, I think he's going a little bit too far with wanting to kill them. Mid-Soldor Origins, the sad fate. And then we got a little treasure box over here. We got more secrets. I really like this railway. The engines are very kind. And I love this new paint job they gave me while I was here. Anyway, time to get back to the shed and get some sleep. Right, driver, he should be here soon. Go do your thing. Hey, manager, isn't there supposed to be 50 metal rods in here? Yes, of course. Why? I've only counted 46. Hmm. Let's go ask the others. Hey, guys, sorry for waking you up. Do you know about any metal rods going missing? No, sir. The trucks were untouched when they got here. Yes, sir. I can back Smudger up with that. I was there with him. Okay, then. Wait a minute. Where is Stanley? All right, it's all set. Good man. Now don't go feeling bad about this neither. It's for the greater good. I honestly don't care what happens to him. I could have lost my job over their stupidity. Well, he couldn't have gone far. It is night time. He might be late running back or something. At least we can get some peace and quiet. Oh well. Sorry to bother you two. Get some rest, guys. Good night. You too, manager. I'm sure there isn't anything to worry about. He can't be doing anything that bad. Oh, but he is. He's about to commit murder. The moon was full, and the mists were rising around the old iron bridge. Hang on a minute. I can see something on the tracks ahead of me. It looks like an engine. 
nice paint job you got there. At least it goes well with your execution! Wait, no! Help! Why didn't he hit the brakes as soon as he saw Stanley? Come on! Let's go! 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 Steamer was never found again. Aww. But workmen will tell you when the moon is full. They can see the little engine trying to return home. But he never reaches the other side. Until 2015. Come on. Come on. I can make it. Just Hello again, Steamer. Smudger? Yes, it's me. I have tried for so many years to find you here. This is the only place I came to apart from the mid Siddle Railway. Once I accidentally scared away a yellow engine crossing this bridge looking for you. Anyway, I have broken the barrier stopping you from crossing the bridge. Come with me, and I will get you your life back. So that's the story of how that guy died. We brought him back though. It's all right. This is the credits, not the credit. We already seen the credits. We already seen the end of the game. This is just the credits of all the movies. We got a lot of people to voice act this game though. Flatbed truck, Lori Three, Monster Lori, and the Workman. The old manager, other voice actors, music composers. Oh, there was even music composed too. And royalty free music, of course. Models made in Tinkercad, Blender 3D, and Room Styler. Some visual sound effects and textures were made in Audacity. All right, I got another achievement. And that one right there. All right, there's still one more achievement. Unlock the three achievements and then go to the items menu. Okay, I've got all three achievements right here. All right, complete all the missions, complete all the levels, and watch all the mid Soto Origins cutscenes in order. I did that. Now I gotta go back to the items menu. There's still something else here. Click. What's this? Destination. Sodor. Arrival time. 30 minutes. Uh, the job is kind of boring when no one needs assistance. Maybe I can play some games or something. Although, I don't want to be caught doing that bizarre stuff always seem to happen when you at least expect it. Maybe I might get some shut-eye, considering everyone else is most likely doing that, too. Can I have this voice acting? Emergency! This is the chief mate of the SS Bruxer speaking. The ship has struck land, and it is in danger of sinking. Everyone get up to the deck immediately! Oh no! I need to get everyone out of bed quickly! There is no oh, time to Oh, we're on a waste. ship! Okay, press S to move to the door. Alright. We gotta save people. Press A to open the door. W to walk out. Oh shit! Oh, what the hell? Who are you? What are you doing? Wait, it's you! No! Please, no, don't do it! Dude, just run! Oh my god. He could have just ran. He got his head taken off. Shit. Introducing Smoother, the Masked Engine, Smudger's older brother. Next game coming in 2020. It's 2022, so he's a little late, but it's okay. Wait a second. Oh, this is that Masked Engine that, that was on that ghost story. His name is Smoother, and he was Smudger's older brother. Hmm. I wonder if Smudger knows that that's his brother. Maybe he does, and he was just being vague about it because, you know, it still hurts him. I don't know, but man, I am hyped. Hang on. The full game may not be out yet, but the demo is up on Game Jolt. So I'm going to be playing that next. I'm going to give you all some more Five Nights at Smudgers content coming soon. But as it is right now, I am officially done with this game. So without wasting any more time, we're going to do the outro. I want you guys to tell me right now. What other rating could this game possibly deserve than a 10 out of 10? For starters, 
The game's art style actually looks pretty innocent. Sure, I've seen way better graphics, but I gotta give credit where credit is due. I love how pretty much all the models in this game are original and not photoshopped out of Thomas episodes. But yeah, who cares about graphics anyways? Graphics aren't everything. I don't judge a game solely based off of the graphics. Everything else in this game definitely lived up to the hype. Uh, the mechanics were very simple to understand and unlike Five Nights at Smudgers 3, they weren't a complete RNG dumpster fire. The jump scares were all right. Not the best that I've seen, but they still surprised me. Uh, if anything, they're more goofy than scary. What I really liked about this game is the story and how much content there is. I like how there's a map where we can select whatever night or mission that we want to go to. I also love how there's collectibles, hidden cutscenes, which could have been handled just a little bit better. A cute little tutorial section, different mini games in between nights, some being 2D arcade type shit, others being more Five Nights at Freddy's styled survival segments. We also get a lot of cutscenes in between nights and before nights that have voice acting. And yeah, the mic quality and the voice acting itself is about what you'd expect from a free game, but I appreciate the effort that it had nonetheless, and it had me feeling like I was a kid again watching a Thomas episode. And a classic one too at that from before, you know, when they were animated and they were actually filling real life models, you know what I'm saying? It's a nice little redemption story, it's got a wholesome ending. And after we beat the knights, the game doesn't take us back to the past with mini games depicting a past event like a lot of other Five Nights at Freddy's fan games be doing. The whole game takes place in the present where we save all the engines, bring an old friend back from the dead, save Duke followed by Smudger and Duke making amends, and we also beat this Stanley asshole. It's a nice little change of pace that I welcome with open arms. Overall, this game is a whole lot more fun to play, and I'm gonna remember it for years to come. And I'm real glad I got myself caught up with the story so that I could understand the cutscenes a little bit better. And now I see that I had every right to be excited to play this game when I started playing the Five Nights at Smudgers games. Big Trevi, you done good. And I'll definitely be playing whatever else you make in the future. Next game I'll be having my eyes on is the demo of the fifth Five Nights at Smudgers game and definitely the full game too whenever that comes out. One more thing guys, a 10 out of 10 doesn't mean the game is perfect. As a matter of fact, there is no such thing as a perfect game. When I give a game a 10 out of 10, it is just me saying that in my opinion, the game is 100% worth checking out for anybody that is a diehard Five Nights at Freddy's fan game fan like myself and probably a good chunk of you guys. Come on, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Y'all need to go ahead and download this game right the fuck now if you haven't already, because I promise you, you're gonna have a blast. With that being said, I know for a fact that I've been rambling for long enough, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Keep wearing those masks, keep washing those hands like there's no tomorrow. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.